All right, we're gonna ride right into this. Hopefully the plugs are in. So we're out here today on the Argo Bigfoot. And we're gonna be riding over to the pond to show you guys how this thing does in the water. Just recently got the tire fixed. Um, it was flat for a while. Um, kept putting tubes in it and the tubes just kept breaking because these things aren't meant to have tubes in the tires but once the tube starts dry rot and stuff there's really nothing you can do besides put a tube in or buy a new tire tires for these things are like 250 bucks so I decided to get a tube and it seems like it's been holding so far so hopefully the valve stem on the tube doesn't end up breaking again Ah, shoot, I should have went down the muddy trail. Let's turn around real quick. Man, I love how easy these things are to turn around. So I actually just came through here the other day and cleared out some more trails for this thing. Pretty much all you guys gotta do to make a trail on this thing is just ride it and it'll make a trail for you as long as the logs aren't too big it can climb right through them so they don't get stuck in here i should be good oh yeah no problem see like right there used to just be looking like all that and i just rode right through it made a little trail Look how easy this thing turns, y'all. Surprisingly, it isn't that muddy back here. It was just pouring down rain yesterday. But y'all know with the beaver dam being tore out now, the muddy area is starting to dry out a little bit. I used to get stuck in here all the time. This part was just like a swamp. That one just goes right through it. Also, I just had to replace the starter on this thing. And that thing was not fun to replace. They put the starter in like the most awkward spot to work on. So you like can't see any of the bolts. So you pretty much just have to feel for them and hope you're unscrewing the right bolts. For some reason, they decided to put a little bracket thing over the bolts that attach the starter to the engine. And I don't know why they did that because it's pretty much pointless. Just made it a lot harder to feel for the bolts. All right, guys. Oh, you're seeing something jump out there. What is that? All right, we're gonna ride right into this. Hopefully the plugs are in. I think they are. That was pretty good when you're by yourself. A lot easier to turn. When you got a lot of people in with you, everyone's gotta lean to one way when you're trying to make a tight turn. Right here, I'll do a lean to this way and just turn real quick. Turns pretty good. Woo yeah, for some reason, seems like it's been going faster in the water. It has this full throttle. Not going too fast, but get to where you need to go I guess. Should have brought a fishing pole out here with me. Looks like there's a lot of fish out here today. And the water is clear. Yeah definitely should have brought a fishing pole with me.
wonder if we could drive up to this island. I can try it. See what happens. There's no trail though, so. Woo! Heck yeah, drove right up here. See if we can come out the other side. Got a bunch of trees there though. Woo! Heck yeah. <laughs> Straight through the island. drive up right here and show y'all how easy it gets out of the water over here these things are so awesome just going from water to land and you're not even getting wet Woo. oh tearing up the grass a little bit right there got to be careful with this thing you will shred through grass. It's like a mini tank. Who knows what it would do if I had the tracks on. Yeah, this thing's been doing pretty good in the water. Yeah guys, just wanted to come out here on this thing, show you guys how it does in the water and give you a little update on it. See how I'll get off and show you it real quick. A little backfire. Whoa! Yep, there she is. Also just had to replace the winch. The other one completely broke off right here. Like got wedged in there and this metal piece right here just snapped. Put an alternator on it now so the battery shouldn't die. This thing's smoking because it's throwing water up there. Jeez, I wonder why it's flinging so much water. Must be a bunch of water down in there. Yeah, a bunch of mud and water. I'm gonna have to drain this thing out. But yep, just got a new alternator, got the starter down there, so should be good to go. This over here was the tire that was bad. Um, got a tube in it, but still holding there. thing that's different about that tube, it's a little bit higher quality. It has the, uh, like on a dirt bike, has a little thing to screw in the valve stem, so the problem was it just kept breaking off and putting a big hole in the tube so hopefully that holds it but yeah guys it's a little update on the argo just cleaned the carburetor out the other day too so it's running a lot better still back frying a little bit but i'll show you guys how easy it is to start it's like a half second one second turn starts right up yeah guys this thing is back and running for the summer hopefully it'll stay running through the winter because it's kind of hard to get out here on motorcycles and stuff and make videos in the winter but this thing awesome to drive around in the winter maybe we'll do some more trapping or something maybe go rabbit i don't know yeah guys just an update let you know it's back and running so more videos to come on this thing might take it through some more intense trails for you guys see how it does but yeah that's pretty much it hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one